Hey there, how are you going? My name's Brendan Morello. I'm from G4 Guitar Schools and the G4 Guitar Network. And today we're going to have a look at um, the correct technique for playing chords. Now, let's start off with um, when we're starting to play chords, the first thing we want to do is we want to be sitting in the correct position. Now, you want to have your guitar on a nice angle. Um, um, otherwise, it's going to be much harder for you to get your thumb in the correct position. So see how my guitar's on a nice angle here. Now you may see that I've got my guitar on my left knee and it's quite raised here. So my, I'm on a foot, got my left foot on a uh, footstool and my guitar's resting, the curve of the guitar is resting on my knee here like that. Now, so it's on a nice angle. Then we're sitting nice and upright. The next step is we want to put our thumb behind the back of the guitar neck there, just in the middle back there, because we want to be able to push right up on our fingers. So that's the first step. So now let's have a look. We're going to have a look at the uh, D7 chord. So let's put our first finger on the first behind the first fret of the B string, the second string. So first finger, second string. First fret. Now, when you play your chords, you want your fingers just behind the fret. So not up the top, here, not on the middle, but down close to the fret, just behind. Not and not on top here, because if you're on top, you get a kind of a hollow sound, but just behind there. So yeah, you, you want to be pushing down so you get a nice clean sound there with that first note there. So that's the first, that's our first finger down. Then the second finger is going to be on the Third string, second fret. So again, we're pushing our hand up there. So push, push your hand up. You'll see there's a gap between the guitar and my hand. So you're pushing right up there, and then we're going to play. Just check that the third string there is sounding nice and clean. Yep. And then you're going to put your third finger on the first string. So first string, second fret, third finger. So see how my fingers are just behind the frets and I'm pushing up there with my thumb. So my, my thumb's just behind the back still there and I'm pushing right up there with my hand. See it's not like this, my hand's not like that, it's up, pushing up. So this one here is the D7 and with D7 we play from the D string. So we're playing from the fourth string now. So, so now initially it may not sound like that, it may sound so you see how here, it's not sounding quite right, so what we've got to do, we've got to go through and we've got to find which string is not sounding correct. So, yeah, the first string, the D string sounding good. Now, oh, okay, now there's a bit of a problem. So what I want to do, I want to do a bit of a checkpoint here. A bit of a che check off. My thumb behind the back? Yep. But am I pushing down hard enough? No, I'm not pushing down hard enough. There we go, push down. Got it. Good. All right, so now let's check the... Check the Check the next one, the, the B string, the second string. Yep, check the third string's good, but the B string's not quite right. Now what's happening here? I think what's happening here is my second finger, this one here, is touching the second string. Now, this is quite common. Now what we've got to do, we've got to push up. We've got to push up right up on our fingertips here. Um, we've got to push right up. This So that first thing, that... Second finger, see, I don't know if you can see that, but the line's right on top of my fingertip there because you've got to push right up. Um, so let's practice this. Let's just use our second finger to push up. So I've just got my second finger on there. And see that I'm, what I'm doing is I'm playing the third string and the second string. You see how the second string's ringing out? So now let's see if I can add my first finger down again onto the first, behind the first fret there of the, the, the B string. So yeah. I've got that now. So I'm pushing down, pushing my hand up with my thumb behind. It's not easy, guys. This takes time. And then now, the last one is put down my third finger now. So fourth string's good. Third string's good. Second string's good. Cool. Okay. So this is not quite, not quite right. Check. So we'll, we'll see what's happening here. So my finger's on top of the fret. This is pretty very common. Let's bring my finger back. So I'm sliding my th my third finger back because that's on the second fret still. Okay, that's better. All right. So now I play all all four strings. 
from the D string. And now Sally Clay. This one is called D7. Let's have a rest. And let's go back. So let's repeat that again. So go through, check each string. Is it all sounding clean? If it's not, correct it. So um, have a look. Is my thumb behind the back pushing up? Is my hand pushing up? Am I up on my fingertips? Am I behind the fret? Am I far away? Sometimes when you're far away from the fret, so you, when you're up here, you get that little buzzy sound, okay? So that's quite, um, when it's up like that, you really got to push down much harder with the further you are from the, on the fret. So the closer you are to the frets, the easier, the less pressure you have to put down, push down from behind. So you want to be pushing from behind with your thumb and from on top with your fingers. And now, this is hard, this is quite hard initially, and some of you may be struggling with this. In fact, a lot of you will be struggling, um, and this is okay, this is all part of the process. So the easiest, the best way to practice this is just through repetition. So you sit there for five, ten minutes, and just practice through the, the, the chord. So yeah, once you get it, take off your hand, have a rest. Fingers are probably in a bit of shock, as they are initially, and then go back up. Again... So just keep practicing. What's the name of this chord? This chord is D7. All right. So that's the basics behind learning a chord. Now, um, the next step is chord changes, which we'll have a look at in detail in a minute. Okay. Thanks for your time. If you've got any questions, my email address is morelloguitarschool at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.